Okay guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is going to be a little bit of a different video. It's just going to be short. I just basically wanted to update you all and I thought this would just be the easiest way. Uh, so I'm currently sat with Bella as you can see. The horses are in the background as so we've actually got the lovely Kato here behind me. So basically the reason I wanted to make this video is because we have had a lot of stuff going on at home personal stuff and some stuff to do with uh the horses and my riding which i am going to update you all on at some point that's not actually the point of this video i just wanted to tell you guys that sadly um sadly i am having to put the lovely kato up for sale who is behind me now and he knows don't you hey you do um, not a decision that I've taken lightly. It's taken me a while to make the decision. I really don't want to. Um, I would, I mean, I would love to keep all of them if I could. I really would love to keep him. You know, I'm sure as you've all seen, dad has been riding him. He's been so good looking after dad. Hello. <laughs> hey, this wasn't intentional to have you in the video. You just want to get involved, don't you, buddy? Um, yeah, dad's been riding him and he has just given dad so much fun. He's been hacking him. He's taken him to the beach. He's taken him on the, on a fun ride. He's even jumped some logs. So he has just been absolutely fantastic. Haven't you, buddy? I really, really don't want to. Uh, but basically the main reason is I can't afford to have four event horses. I'm sure most of you know that horses in general are expensive eventing is even more expensive and also with everything that's going on currently and the rising costs for everything this winter I just I can't afford to have four I never plan to have four and as Errol is coming up now um, he will be doing more and I just simply I can't afford it is the main thing and also the time the time for me to be training four horses consistently and properly because if I'm going to do it and I'm competing you know I a want to give it the best chance I can I also want all of the horses to be you know in the best possible shape best fitness to give them the best possible chance and I just feel like with four I'm struggling a little bit with time I need to be able to earn money obviously to keep them uh, and I do that in certain, you know, several different ways, running a livery yard, teaching, producing ponies and the YouTube and with four event horses all competing at a decent level. I mean, Errol's not, but he will start doing some stuff next year. And he, although he's not competing quite yet, he needs a lot of attention with getting him out to different places and getting him to see different things. And um, so that when he is older, he's kind of experienced a lot of it uh, so that that takes up a lot of time um so they're kind of the main reasons really um and it's it's been really difficult and i absolutely love kato and like i say if if i could afford it um i i would i would keep him um because i do i do really like him um but I can't and that unfortunately is life and I think he could give someone a lot of fun you know he would be an absolute superstar for someone wanting to do a bit of everything because like you've seen with dad he's super going out hacking fun rides beaches and also someone who wants to event maybe start at 1900 and want some a confidence giver because cross country is his thing he will if he knows where the flags are he will do whatever he can to get to the other side and do his best so someone who needs something to help him help them out a little bit the home is so important that is absolute key for me he needs to go to a really really nice home and an active home he he needs to be going out and doing stuff all of the time definitely not a home where he's just going to go in the arena all the time he is best just to go in the arena a couple times a week uh, but yes the home the home is the most important I will be vetting uh, everyone who comes to look at him because I've really worked hard we've built a partnership and I love that horse and 
what I would like to see is him go and be with someone else who can have lots of fun and enjoy him and take him out and about. So yeah, so I just wanted to let you guys all know before I put the ad up, before I put the sales video up so that it's not a shock and just to update you really. And like I say, we've, uh, we've got some other personal um, issues going on, which is why we're not keeping Kato for dad. And I will address those in another video. Um, it's a little bit sad, so I'll address them in another video. But um, thank you guys so much for all your support. I know you will definitely miss Kato. He's been a huge part of this YouTube channel. Um, and like I say, I absolutely love him. I know you all love him. So let's just find him the best, best possible home we can. So thank you very much, guys, as always, for all your support really really appreciate it and well we'll see you for another video that will be a little bit more upbeat